Hey everybody, welcome back. So at this point, you already know what we're headed to do. This is the day before. Um, there's a lot of prep for a job like this. Um, right now behind me, you can see 15 is just finishing up, dropping off that wreck. Um, and this is gonna be a little unique. It's something we've actually never done. Um, so it's, uh, we're, we're thinking it's like a three hour drive. Um, pretty sure Sarge can make it, but I don't want to bank on that, count on that, just in case something were to happen. That's a long ways for Sarge to drive. Plus it doesn't have air conditioning. I feel bad for the guy that would have to drive that. It's supposed to be hundred degrees tomorrow. Um, so gosh, 22 needs cleaned. That's 22, we're gonna be bringing it. Um, it'll be doing some, maybe some winching, but a lot for just anchorability. Um, we are thinking that the pole is going to be around 100,000 pounds, which means we need to weigh 150,000 pounds. Um, so we are actually going to be taking Sarge, but we are going to be towing Sarge. So Andrew, as soon as he's done there, he's going to actually, we're going to pull the driveline and we're going to be towing Sarge there. We'll be, uh, I'll be driving truck seven or medium duty. Um, we'll have obviously the rotator 15. So we'll have 22. Um, either as a, just an anchor uh, for anchor ability and we'll have Sarge. So it's gonna be awesome. Uh, there's a lot of prep that goes with this. Um, we're just out here trying to uh, get everything sorted out. I'm gonna, I'm also gonna bring the recovery trailer which is behind uh, truck 22 there. Um, it's got our cones, um, signs, we're gonna have flaggers. It's a big deal. Uh, this thing is, it's a challenge, but we're so excited. We love challenges, we're really pumped for this. Um, there's 15 right there driving over to get ready to uh, to tow Sarge and then I'm gonna get truck 7 and hook up to the recovery trailer and, and get all that ready and get all this going so we'll get to it all right so here we are we got uh, 15 towing Sarge I've got the recovery trailer on truck 7 and as you can see there we got Sarge hooked up we're just gonna pull the driveline and then we're ready to go I am going to go grab our headsets and radios for the flaggers to be able to talk back and forth and uh, obviously headsets so we can talk back and forth and yeah they were ready to go in the morning. Uh, we've got Michael coming for the rotator, Mickey's going to come and drive 22, Andrew's taking uh, 15 and Sarge, I'm taking the medium duty and a couple uh, flaggers with me. So let's get on the road. Boy, that thing's huge, huh? Holy cow. Yeah, I need to go over and stand underneath that tire so you get an idea. Oh my You know, gosh. if I'm standing by, people get an idea. Because on camera, you just, you No, you, you couldn't see, on that picture, you can't even see how big that truly is. We look at it compared to our- Rotator, rotator. I know. It's rotating like a little truck. Wow. That's a big load. Yeah, dude. Lucky it happened right there. It would have been a really bad day. Yeah, true. Lip up there. Wow. That is so big. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Are you the driver? Are you with the tow company? Oh. Oh, okay. Any idea what just that weighs? Just the piece of equipment? Oh, just that piece. Are you the driver? How much does just the piece of equipment? 160. 160, so 260 Two. combination. Yeah, one, 159, 900. Wow. Gosh, that's crazy. 
Okay. Yeah, we came around the booster failed or the valve on the booster for the steerable failed. Yep, that's how that's how these end up doing. And we we did one in um, Fruitland, Idaho. Same exact thing happened. Coming around a corner and the rear steer failed, yep. and it pushed him right into the to the hill just like that. And uh, so it failed, and I got to this. Like, well, you see where I stopped and my oh yeah, you locked up. Right. And it just dragged me back. Nothing you can do, huh? And the good thing is, if it would have been beyond there, we'd have rolled over. Or, Oh if yeah. Happened up there, we'd have been, I'd have been done. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, could have been worse. So the only thing that's really holding it's that rock. Gosh, that's crazy. Oh, we got we got lots of trucks coming, so we'll get her. I know pulled it's out. gonna be a spendy bill. Yeah, <laughs> but we'll get her out. It is what it is, right? Yeah, uh, my boss knows. <laughs> yeah. So he knows. <laughs> He wants you to just stay there for now on 22. Is that yeah, what he I'll said? Be on the, okay. The All right. Probably hooked to 15 or or winching. What no, did he, he say? Right here on the front oh, cool. Just take the nose. Forward. Okay, cool. I wondered there was a pullout down below. He could probably put Sarge together down there, but he won't know it. I was telling Mike that'd be a good spot to do it. That's but. true. Dang it! I was hoping he could do it right here, actually. Well, he probably could. It's where just Michael's at? That first turnout, and then he could just drive Sarge up. But Jeez, look at that! It was dragging it. Holy cow! Dragging it back. And he's against that rock. Yeah. Man, that's a lot of weight. I'm so glad we brought 22. <laughs> it's so much weight. All the weight on that tire. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe that. What was he sleeping? Yeah, he was asleep. I had to go wake him up at his house. Yeah, oh yeah. Fifteen? Yeah. Okay. Yep. There he is. I'll go help him put that together. I got the drive line put back in on Sarge. We're finishing up putting all our snatch blocks on the, the trailer here. And then <clears throat> when we're ready, we will close the road completely and then position trucks. here okay and here we're gonna have here we're gonna have 24,000 with Sarge okay and this will be 15 and here we're gonna have 25,000 here with 15 okay Here, we're gonna have 48,000 with the rotator. What does that put us at? Show off. Just kidding. So, um, what's that total amount of pull? Total plus 11.5. That's 108,500. Okay, plus okay. 
22 is going to be on the, the nose, nose of the truck. And that's another 14,000 pounds. Okay, so 122,500. So remember 122,500. I'll write that down. So it's 262,000. 262,000. He can air it up so that that piece comes off the ground. Okay, cool. That'll so, help a lot so of resistance. So that's rolling resistance. Yep. Which is, Mickey, remember 13.1. Okay, what I what I ask you? Thirteen one. Okay, so just on the rolling resistance, so if it's, fifteen degree gradient, yeah, this is a twenty five percent of its weight. Rolling resistance is another five percent. That's a total pull of seventy eight thousand six hundred pounds. Cool. But some of it's not rolling. We have some mired back there. Right, with the trailer that's so on the rock. We're going to be closer to 90,000. Cool. So we're and within we have, that. And we have 126 usable. We have 122,500 122, usable we got of a pole. And we anchor that much and too because of all the trucks. Doing anything. Right, without him giving it help. Cool. Okay. Sounds good. Cool, cool, cool. Got all our. Our ends moused. Definitely have to uh, mark all the T's and dot all the I's on stuff like this. I want to get a view of uh, over here. Plus, I haven't actually seen myself back here. Okay, there's the mire resistance because it's in the dirt and the trailer over there. It looks like it's it's on the asphalt. So, okay, I'll get some snatch blocks put on. Okay, so just to keep everybody informed, what we're also gonna do with rotator is boom out and get a high line and a lift on this right here. This big old chunk of metal. We can actually get a chain around that and get a, a lift going too. Or I didn't, more of a high pull really than a lift. Yeah. With the radio? Yeah, they do. Yep, we, we should have one too so that we can hear them. I'm gonna go grab one out of the truck. Do you wanna grab the headsets, Michael? Hey, Jacob, they're gonna bring you some Gatorade here in just a minute. That's it. Sweet. Thank you. thinking now well we need to start thinking snatch box what's gonna go where yeah okay well you're gonna have your Sarge is not gonna have a snatch box. I have a truck okay. coming through and, uh, okay. there you go, man. 15 is gonna have so basically if I have one two three snatch box for fifth for 28 that's these three okay so, so then 15 both of these highs. okay so 15 needs one here yeah, 15's next to the rotator, so this is 15. So 
Do you want to just grab a snatch block off 15 or do we have one pulled out here for it? Well, there's two behind it. Well, I know, but I don't know what we're using They're for seven. And, we okay. Got them all out, so. Well, then we'll use this one for 15. <laughs> Right, so this will be for 15. So we need another one off. So we're going to use the two that are on 15. And the one on 17. I'll go get sevens. Off of the boom, down. And then out. Then it's going to come out to this one. It's going to go through, back to the truck. Truck snatch bar. Oh, yeah, we can one more. Copy. The other line. It's gonna go down, halfway down the chassis, and it's gonna go up to that blue line. Okay. Okay, that's 15, 15's done. Okay, I'll go get a snatch block for seven then. Then the next one is so. So you guys know what's going on. That small wrecker right there is gonna be going to that very rear chain. There's gonna be two snatch blocks on it and three parts of line. That'll be going to that one. Sarge, the military truck, goes to the next chain forward. Then this blue and white heavy wrecker will be next in line. You'll have one line that's gonna come down. It's gonna go to this first snatch block right here, back to his truck, and then to that second chain there with no snatch block on it. His second line is gonna come down then it's going to go up and grab that blue strap that we put on the piece on the unit up there to help kind of pull, give us a little bit of angle. The next one will be the rotator. It'll be in line. It'll have one line coming off the deck, coming through, through this snatch block and back to itself. Then there's going to be one line on the boom, hooking to the chain that's on this upper rail on the other side. And then the other one on the boom is going to go up to that piece of equipment right there after it comes down to give us a little bit of a low pull. Now with all of that, if we run the numbers, if this thing is rolling on flat ground, it takes 5% of its weight to move it. So we calculated that in, but we're going uphill. 15 degrees is 25% of its weight. So now we're at 30% of its weight. But we have tires that are a little bit into some soft ground over there, that's another 15%. So we've calculated out, we have to apply 90,000 pounds of pressure to make this thing move. Our trucks that we're gonna have on here are capable of holding 122,000 pounds. Yeah. The rigging that we have on here is capable to 105. So we're gonna be right there, right there. So, because the only truck that we haven't talked about yet is the blue one, but it's just gonna be directly on the front. It's it's just going to be there just as a as an aid to help. Thank you. That's going to be the plan, but I think we're at a point now yeah, to shut down the road. So we're gonna we're gonna start blocking Copy, this road. People are just gonna have to wait. And we're gonna start oh, yeah. setting up. Sounds good. So okay, all right, we'll get to it. Seven. Yeah, I'll get seven. It here, kids. Can you put that on? Make sure that we'll one? let this truck go, and then make sure we can hold on. Okay, I'll bring seven in. You got the radio to that. Okay. Okay. Hey, Wyatt, Jacob. Yeah, what's up? We are going to shut down the entire road now. So both of you are just going to go stop signs and we're going to start blocking up this road. Uh, snatch box already on the line over there, so I see to run. Oh, okay. You want to use blue?
I don't have tape. Yeah, I know I don't like the angle at all. In fact, I'm gonna chalk the tires. That's tight fit. Gotta be though to fit all these trucks in here. This 28's gotta go there. Maybe we'll be, yeah, I think we're good there. up getting their trucks set up I'm gonna get some hardwood and we're gonna put this hardwood in between the duels for brakes works great Definitely a pretty good load there. I felt that. Yeah, on the trailer.
Military specs are a little different. Position on truck seven. I'm not even going. Yeah, I'm not going. I'm loose. Okay. Okay. All right.
catch up, Sarge? doing is just keeping it tight. My, Mickey too. Just tippy. Figured that, yeah, okay. Because we're getting close to that point. I'm getting close to a 90 on mine. some room.
guys could hear them talking, but they're uh, they're communicating right now back and forth, knowing exactly how much each person's going. So they're communicating back and forth, go a little bit more on the high line, go a little bit more. But we're doing really, really well here. Slow and steady wins the race on these things. up there, Mike. Pretty soon I'm gonna have to actually take this stuff off because I'm gonna come into the body of seven. I'm free spool so it's pulling, but pretty soon we're gonna hit the truck, my line. Okay. All right, so what Michael was just saying is pretty soon I'm gonna take my stuff off and get out of here and we're gonna move the trucks down so that we can take it further. So we moved, it took seven off because it's too much of a 90. So it's not gonna do any good. It's gonna just tip the truck over. And the Sarge took the place of where seven was and so on. They all just moved down so that we could pull this farther. So we're doing good, Doc got her. Looking 
good, looking good. Mike, Mike, your drink's right here. I was just talking to these guys that were on this end because I couldn't see a whole lot where I was. And they were saying how much this these high lines were helping, which makes sense as you have all this top heavyweight, uh, top end weight trying to go over. They said it would try and tip, 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 and then our high lines was actually bringing it back over. And uh, we'd be in a lot of trouble if we didn't have those high lines because that is a lot of weight up high, and that is way high. So what we're going to do now is, is now put the rotator's lines where 15's lines were right over there and keep these high lines on, but he's going to actually boom over a little bit so that we can get really good pull on that top end this direction as we use Sarge 15 and the rotator to keep pulling the trailer back on the road. And we're really close now. We're way away from that rock as you guys can see on that other shot. Yeah. It's too hot for a yellow coat. It's too hot. Was it 101 today? Crazy. Round two. Oops. Round two. She's she's long, far away. Really good rolling resistance now. Hold on, hold on, slow down, slow down. Everybody slow down. You mind? You're always in the damn hole of hard. <laughs> we have really good resistance. I don't know what now. it is with Mike in a Volvo and thinking he's out pulling. You know? <laughs> he can do it by himself? No. Trailer's dragging again on the asphalt, so you're gonna have a little more resistance right now. Yeah. Might wanna have mirrored up. All right, the driver is going to uh, air it up again get that trailer off the asphalt a little bit. So he's gonna do that now. I'll watch it. Yeah, I'm watching, I'll let him know. Michael can let him know when it's high enough. Uh, nothing changed on this corner that was dragging. Yeah. Okay. That should be better. Oh yeah, that's better. That's better already, I can tell.
looks really good on this side. Alright, so the same thing that happened to truck 7 is now happening to truck 15 where the line is getting too much of a 90 degree and so now we're going to take 15s and go back again over to where Sarge's is pulling. So we're going to be working on that now. Yeah, I don't think you need Sarge right now. Really good. We almost got it. Uh, what was happening was this truck now has got too much of a 90 degree angle yeah, on it yeah. and so he's going to switch and go back and then we've got it. It's real close now. I'm glad you guys are working good as a team. That's awesome. What's that? I'm glad you guys are working good as a team. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's the best part of this crew he's, is he's everybody a, works. He's got a nib. I'm out of home though. Right? Oh. So. oh, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> I just we're, figured we're, you guys from Oregon. But we're uh, fast. Okay, cool. Awesome.
should be it. It's real close. The trailer besides the Jeep is almost on the asphalt. But then you have the Jeep still yet in the dirt. Yeah, we're really close. And 22. Man, it's just eating up that asphalt. Pretty bad. Yeah, bad. It's so hot out here, it's just melting it. Yeah, can you raise it more? Yeah, it's destroying the asphalt. It's taking out a bunch of asphalt over here. Huh? It's taking out a bunch of asphalt over here, so if we could raise it another block. We'll just put the four in. The four in. Four. The okay. That's what he said. be better look at that asphalt there it's just it's just cutting it well it's 100 degrees right i mean it's just gonna cut that up do that don't let me forget i got chips and sandwiches for everybody You want Mike to go too, right? Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I honestly think pretty soon here we're gonna be okay if we just put 15 on the truck and go. I think we got it. over there now. So there you can see how much we've pulled it. There's where it used to be. There's where it's at. No, not at all. Could have been a lot worse. That thing's what caused it. I know, yeah, that's the last one we did. It was, it was one of those windmills, weighed like 250,000 pounds. And same thing, rear steering went like this and it went into a bank. Yeah, I mean, you can't control We were, he was way over there and that thing went over there. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah. And you don't know it, as the driver, you're thinking, okay, and then all of a sudden, wait a second, and your yeah. butt end goes in. I mean, if you held the trailer itself, it's right. 95 grand. Is it really? Wow. We're about 200 262,000. Wow. 260,000. Yeah, that guy said 262, I think, yeah. was what it, that's crazy. It's uh, a lot of weight. Yeah, with birds, you guys are in Napa, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, we live in Middleton. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Very right. impressive, yes. Definitely. Yeah, it's opened up all kinds of possibilities for us. Oh, yeah. Things we Superman never... Too. That's right. <laughs> my dad... Only the best. My, my son calls me Superman. Oh, there you go. I try to stay young for him. <laughs> yeah, take some pictures of these trucks and send them to him. I know. Or oh, show no, them I to got him. that one. Did right. you? Okay, cool. Yeah, he'll like the Superman. See, what we were going to do, we were going to try to get the equipment off. Oh, wow. Yeah, we, they had one record come out of yesterday, and I'm thinking... Oh, you're kidding me, dude. Yeah, you're not going to be able to touch you're that. touch that. Yeah, when they called us, they said they called around a bunch of places and couldn't find anybody that could even touch it. Called us, I said, yep. We got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> it will come out. I love stuff like this. New yeah. challenges are just so fun. Because then you all you get together as your team, your crew, you sit down, you figure out all the numbers and what we can do. And yeah. All right, we are super close. We've basically got it on. Um, the driver does not think he's going to be able to get up to speed and get going from this incline, and I agree with him. So what we're going to do is put uh, 15 on front of him and help him pull up this road to get him up and out of here. But we've pretty much got it all on the asphalt. This is the last pull now, and then, like I said, yeah, we'll get 15 out there and pull him and get him going on the road. All right, rotator's going to reset get this last last little go here Yeah, you're, you're real close. The Jeep is almost on the asphalt. on asphalt over here all right he's gonna try and do it himself first but if not we're gonna have 15 come in front of him 
just in case. So 15's coming up here. Yeah, you gotta get out in front of him just in case he can't make it up. Well, he's gonna try it first without us pulling on him. Oh no. Brake, brake, brake. He's trying again. Brake, let's not try. We'll hook to you. We'll hook to you. That's a lot of weight to get moving. No, hell no. Well, hell, it was sliding this one. Yeah. It's a lot of weight to get going. He's trying. There you go, baby. Yeah, nice job. Good job, Andrew. Okay, someone tell tell Andrew when that guy's gonna stop. Okay. Good there. Good, Andrew. Good, Andrew. I do. I do. Hey, Wyatt, you there? Wyatt, can you hear me okay? Okay, Wyatt. Go ahead and let your group down. Okay, you want me to let my traffic through? Yep, go ahead and let your traffic through, Wyatt. Okay, and Jacob, make sure everybody on your end stops. Look at that. Okay, go, Andrew. We're good. We're good. Uh, two mile, mile to two miles. You get up here and then it'll flatten out. Okay. And it'll start down the other side. Okay, I'll tell you. Andrew, can you hear me? Uh, one of the guys that knows this area well said about two miles, but it, it gets really flat and then starts going down. Okay, so then they everybody stopped the traffic then? What? You think? We're gonna ask him. Michael was wondering if you wanna try and do it yourself here. It's up to you. Okay, he's gonna try. He's gonna try since it's a little flatter here. Okay, it's, a it's detached, go ahead, go forward. Give him some room, Andrew. Okay. Okay, that should be good, I think. 
All right, that'll do it. That was exciting. That was fun. Thanks for watching, everybody, and God bless. We'll see you all in the next one.